providing here that is a scanner s is equal to new scanner and I'm passing here system dot in now I want to give the menu to the user so I'm just writing here menu first and that is one for matrix addition you can just copy this matrix that is two for matrix subtraction three four matrix multiplication and if user enters zero then I simply want to exit from the loop so I'm just writing here that is line you can write the same thing over here now I want to ask to the user and that is enter your choice if user says that I want to that is the matrix addition then I want to get the row column and all these things and based on this I want to perform the matrix addition so here I'm just doing what that is I'm declaring here integer ch is equal to for example minus 1 now I'm writing here ch is equal to s dot next integer now you can pass this ch into your switch case if it is a case 1 then I just want to write the message that it is a matrix addition if it is a case 1 then I want to do the matrix addition case 2 subtraction case 3 multiplication and case 0 then I want to simply give the message that thanks for visiting my program and bye and this is semicolon this is my case 2 case 3 and this is case 0 you can simply cut this and you can write here do while choice not equal to 0 and here you can paste your code so this code will be inside the do while loop so this is very simple manu i just created array demo 10 i'm writing here java c array demo 10 dot java java array demo 10 now if you write here matrix 1 then matrix addition i want to do matrix subtraction multiplication and if it is 0 then thanks and bye now I want to get the numbers and that is what I am declaring here variable that is integer row and column. Now if it is a case 1 then I want to do the matrix addition. If it is a mat uh, case 2 then I want to do the matrix subtraction. If it is a case 3 then I want to do the matrix multiplication. First I want to get the numbers so I am just writing here system.out.print enter how many rows you want so if user says that i want the five rows right then i want to store this in my row variable so i'm writing here row is equal to s dot next integer this will be how many rows you want in matrix one the same you need a rows for the matrix two so how many rows you want in matrix two so it will be your row 1 and row 2. So this will be my variable that is row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2. At the same time, I need that is how many rows you want in matrix 2, how many columns you want in matrix 1 and how many columns you want in matrix 2 so this will be your column 1 this will be your column 2 and how many columns you want in matrix 2 so if user says that i want a five row five columns five row five columns in both the matrix it means that matrix addition is possible if and only if both matrix has the same number of row and the same number of columns so if it is not same then i just want to give the message so here you can write the message that if row 1 not equal to row 2 or 
कॉलम वन नॉट इक्वल टू कॉलम टू सो इफ रो वन नॉट इक्वल टू रो टू और कॉलम वन नॉट इक्वल टू कॉलम टू देन यू कैन जस्ट राइट द मैसेज दैट मैट्रिक्स एडिशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट मीन्स इफ द रो इन द बोथ मैट्रिक्स आर नॉट मैचिंग और कॉलम्स इन द बोथ मैट्रिक्स आर नॉट मैचिंग देन नॉट पॉसिबल बट इफ इट इज द सेम इट मीन्स रो इज द सेम एंड कॉलम एंड कॉलम वन एंड टू बोथ आर ऑल आर सेम then i just want to get the value so how we can get the value we need to declare first an array so how we can declare an array it is very simple you can write integer matrix 1 array array is equal to new integer of row 1 column 1 so this will be your matrix 1 then you can write row 2 column 2 so this will be your matrix 2 now i want to do the addition so i need one more matrix and that will be addition so here you can write that will be row 1 and column 1 that is that can be any value why because all are same so once your array is declared now you can ask to the user that enter the value so i'm just writing here system.out.print enter matrix that is for example 1 and i want the row so i am writing here that is row plus comma plus here you can write column plus you can just close this bracket so matrix 1 row and column that i want and here you can write that is matrix 1 of i of j is equal to s dot next integer so what is i and j so i need to write the loop integer i equal to 0 i less than row 1 i plus plus 4 integer j equal to 0 j less than column 1 j plus plus and here you can ask to the user that enter matrix 1 row column 1 enter matrix 2 row column 1 and here you can just copy this the same thing we need to do for that is row 2 column 2 and for the matrix 2 row and column matrix 2 ij this is the bracket of this for loop i need to close the bracket of this if condition so this if condition will be closed now so i need to write here that is row 1 column 1 and that will be row 2 column 2 let me save this let me compile this program so this program is compiled successfully it means that there is no syntactical error available now now i just want to do what if both the matrix is created if the both matrix stored the value now i want to make the addition of this two matrix now what we need to do i am just copying this particular for loop and here what we can do i want to make the addition of this two matrix so here we can write that is add of i of j is equal to that is matrix 1 of i of j plus matrix 2 of i of j simply it will do what it will simply make the addition of corresponding element and that is matrix 1 of i of j plus matrix 2 of i of j now you can just print over here each and every array so we just need to write for integer i equal to 0 i less than for example row 1 i plus plus now i am writing for 
integer j equal to 0, j less than, for example, column 1, j plus plus. Now I want to print here that is the matrix 1, matrix 2 and matrix 3. All this matrix I want to print. The third matrix is matrix addition. So here we can write system.out.print matrix 1 of i of j. Here you can give some space. You can copy this. Here you can write matrix 2 of i of j. You can give some space. And here you can display that is addition of i of j and then you can give some space and after that you can just give the simple system.out.print line. Here you can write system.out.print line. Let's just test it is working properly or not. So I'm just compiling this particular program that is Java C array demo 10 dot Java. Now I'm writing here Java array demo 10. So it is asking me enter your choice. I want to do the matrix addition. How many rows you want in matrix 1? 2 row, 2 column. 2 row, 2 column. So enter the value. Here I need to print i and j not row and column. right? So we will correct this. 10, 15, 20, 30. The second matrix has the value for example 9, 8, 7 and 5. Then the value is 10 plus 9, it is 19. 15 plus 8, it is 23. 20 plus 7, it is 27. 30 plus 5, it is 35. So it is correct. I just need to do what? I need to give some space. Proper spacing is required over here. So let me correct this. So here instead of this row 1, I can write here that is I and J. I can write here I and J. So it will be corrected. One more thing that I need that is not space. Let me write here space. And after this, I want to give tab. So I'm writing here slash T. After this, I want a tab. Let me save this. Let me recompile this particular program. So now you people will get the idea. I want 2 row 2 column, 2 row 2 column. So 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. The value is 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there are two different matrix 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the addition is 15, 26, 37 and 48. Here you can press 0 for exit. Let me move towards the matrix subtraction. So this is what the case 1 is. Now I want to do what? That I want to perform the matrix subtraction. So here you can do what? So I'm just copying this. And here you can paste into case number 2. First what you need to do? Simply, simply just taste it is working fine or not. I'm just compiling this program that is Java C array demo 10 dot Java. I just copied this everything and if it is working properly then you just need to change the sign instead of plus make it minus. Save this. Once it is done you can just compile your code and you can run Java array demo 10. So now I want to do the matrix subtraction. How many rows in first matrix? It is 3 rows. In how many rows in second matrix you want? It is 3 rows. How many columns in first matrix you want? 2. How many columns in the first you want? That is 2. Now I am entering the value 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now second matrix value is that is for example 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. So what is the value? 10 minus 5 it is 5. 20 minus 6 it is 14. 30 minus 7 it is 23. And 50 minus 9 it is 41. So it is working properly. Now I want to do the matrix multiplication. So now I want to do the matrix multiplication. 
so how we can do the matrix multiplication it is very simple first you need the calculation and that is what for example i have one matrix which has the value that is for example 5 7 2 3 this is 4 and 8 so how many rows are there in matrix 1 there are two rows you can say this is the one row and this is the second row how many columns in the matrix 1 1 2 and 3 I have another matrix that is matrix number 2 which has the value for example 2 4 8 7 6 2 so is the matrix multiplication is possible over here yes how we can say that the matrix multiplication is possible because number of column in the matrix 1 number of columns in matrix 1 must be equal to number of rows in matrix 2 so matrix 1 column and matrix 2 rows must be same so this is 3 this is also a 3 so matrix multiplication is possible now how we can do the matrix multiplication over here so it is very simple 5 into 2 5 into 2 plus 7 into 8 plus 4 into 6 now 5 into 4 plus 7 into 7 plus 4 into 2 here the second row will be there so 2 into 2 plus 3 into 8 plus 8 into 6 here it will be 2 3 8 into 4 7 8 so 2 into 4 plus 3 into 7 plus 8 into 2 if you look carefully over here in the calculation then what happens see here row is fixed it means matrix 1 row is fixed and matrix 2 column is fixed so in our language we can say that matrix 1 i is fixed multiply by matrix 2 in programming terminology we can say that matrix 2 j is fixed it means matrix 2 column is fixed and matrix 1 row is fixed now if you take here one variable that is k then k equal to 0 over here then it is also a 0 over here if it is k equal to 1 then it is also a 1 over here so if it is a row is fixed then k will be 0 1 2 here column is fixed then k will be 0 1 and 2 it means 5 into 2 so it means you can say 5 is your 0th element available over here and 2 is also at the 0th element over here. Suppose if you take 7 and 8, then the 7 is first element in the row and 8 is the first element in the column. If you take here 4 and 6, then the 4 is the second element in the row and 6 is the second element in the column. So it means my if I take the k correspond with the row and the k correspond with the column, then I will get the result. It means i k multiply by kj will give me the result and that is the matrix multiplication let me show the same thing practically but before this i want to do the calculation over here it means 5 into 2 it will be 10 plus 7 into 8 it will be 56 plus 6 into 4 it will be 24 so 24 plus 56 it will be 56 plus 4 60 plus 20 80 plus 10 it will be 90 over here 
so I will get the value that is let me write here that is the value that is 90 first here 5 into 4 it will be 20 20 plus 7 into 7 it will be 49 plus 4 into 10 it will be 10 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 49 it will be 79 now here 2 into 2 4 8 into 3 that will be 24 8 6 uh, it will be 48 72 and 4 it will be 76 over here so 48 plus 4 52 plus 4 56 plus 20 76 2 into 4 it will be 8 3 into 7 it will be 21 and 8 into 6 2 it will be 16 16 plus 8 24 plus 1 25 plus 20 it will be 45 so my matrix multiplication will be and that is 90 79 76 and 45 let me do the practical for the same so first just copy the code of matrix subtraction so i'm just copying here that is the case 2 so first copy this and paste into case 3 just to save this and compile over here so you will get the idea if it is an error then you can solve this if no error is there then you can move to your case 3 and here I want the number of rows and columns so I'm just doing what I want first a row and column of matrix 1 so it is row 1 column 1 and then I want the row and column of matrix 2 that is row 2 and column 2 in which situation matrix multiplication is not possible so you can just write here that is if column 1 of matrix 1 not equal to row of matrix 2 then you can say matrix multiplication is not possible then i want to just initialize here that is matrix 1 row 1 column 1 matrix 2 row 2 column 2 matrix multiplication will give me the result of that is the row of the first matrix and column of the second matrix then you can just get the matrix 1 matrix 2 now i want to do the matrix multiplication over here so i'm just writing here for integer k equal to 0 k less than that it will run up to column 1 k plus plus and here you can write that is matrix multiplication of i of j plus is equal to matrix 1 i k multiply by matrix 2 that is k j and here you can write multiplication after that i want to print the matrix 1 2 and multiplication that is separately so i'm just closing this for loop over here i'm writing here that is system dot out dot print line i'm just simply removing all this now I want to print here that is print new line you can just copy this this is the matrix 1 here you can just write that is matrix 2 that is row 2 and column 2 now here you can just paste up to row 1 of matrix 1 and up to column 2 of matrix 2 I want to print the matrix multiplication here i need to run this loop up to row 1 column 2 so why because row of the first matrix and column of the second matrix and then you can save this code here you can just compile your code and you can run this you can provide the matrix multiplication that is third option how many rows you want i want two rows three columns in the second matrix i want three rows and two columns the value is 5 7 4 2 3 and 8 2 4 8 7 6 and 2 and you will get the result is 90 77 76 and 45 it is the as the same as the value that we calculated on the paper so that's it from my side if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.